Today's video is going to be for the drives that are severely damaged. By severely damaged drives, I mean the drives that really need decontamination before any work can begin. Whether it's platter damage or somebody just got curious and opened up the drive and contaminated it, by doing so, uh, the drive has to go through complete cleansing process. This is not something that we can just remove the top cover and clean the top surface off. This is something that requires full disc assembly. Today's drives almost never come in with a single disc uh, inside of them. Usually there is two or even more. Most drives that we see today are made by two brands, Seagate and WD, and most common units out of those are four and five terabyte portable two and a half inch drives. Those drives are beasts. There is lots of discs inside. If it's been previously opened, Assuming that we're just going to put new parts in it and everything will work is complete waste of time. Most of the time it will just end up going nowhere or go only partial and the parts will get contaminated and will die. So the process we use is a decontamination step which also allows us to inspect platters top to bottom, understand where the issues are, where the hidden rocks are so we can navigate around them. This procedure had increased our success rate tremendously and even situations where the discs are scratched most of the time can be solved to a partial degree. If we're talking about a drive with five discs inside and two discs are scratched, that's only 40% of the content. We can still potentially work with 60% that is still there. As long as we got the service area out, we'll be able to launch that drive and clone it on surfaces that are still alive. This is what separates us from many companies because I know for a fact that not everybody handles platter damage situations and if you got that as a reason for not successfully recovering your data, I would highly suggest you reach out to us and get a second opinion. As a demonstrational piece, I wanted to bring in this case. It's an old 80 gigabyte ID Western Digital hard drive that came in just as you see it. I'm not even kidding you, client literally brought it in in a Ziploc bag looking like this. You might say to yourself, well, somebody was trying to be a DJ or practicing uh, their scratching abilities. All jokes aside, guys, this is an extreme case of mishandling the device like this. Those drives um, are extremely, extremely delicate. You can just touch the disc and then pretend you didn't. You could see the marks where heads were going, going back and forth even with those fingerprints all over the top surface. The recovery in this case would probably be considered a miracle, but luckily WD back in the day was using pretty good laminate coating that didn't get penetrated enough to prevent the recovery from happening. Using a suction tool, we separate the disc assembly and set it up into individual rigs. Once they're in the rig, we assess the damages and based on those damages, we choose an option for decontamination. There are two different types of decontamination, one where the solvents would have to be involved and another one where the solvents do not get used. If we're dealing with uh, some sort of oily stains, motor failed for example or fingerprints like you see right now solvents have to be used to dissolve the oil you need to use solvents if it's dust from platters preferred way to do that without solvents because solvents will mix up with the dust and they'll be very very hard to remove and they will potentially micro damage the surface more Here's the same disc after the decontamination process was completed. We're not going to be displaying the decontamination process on this channel and the reason for that is simple. We get enough contaminated drives as it is. Those of you who are seriously interested in finding out how these things can be done, most likely next year we will have something for you, but stay tuned for that. The announcement will be made on the channel when the time is right. I just reviewed the notes on this complete recovery and what we ended up getting in the end was a full image of the entire device. Uh, this was an 80 gig unit, 67 gigabytes of that space was used, 35 gigs out of that entire space belong to movies. We reached out to client, he said he doesn't want them, we purged them. Now from the 32 gigs of actual data that he wanted back, there was close to 45,000 files that made that whole amount up together. Out of that amount, only 416 files had bad sectors. Those were physical bad sectors. We could not do anything to read them out. And uh, overall, the capacity of these files came up to 1.3 and a half gigabytes. With platter damage, you gotta accept the fact that the recovery is going to be partial, but sometimes 50% is better than zero and 50% 
of something that is very important is still important. So if you got a case that's been worked on by somebody and wasn't successfully recovered and an answer that you got was platter damage and that's the reason why your data is not coming back, link in the description will take you to our website where you can request these services. As always guys, thanks so much for watching this episode and I'll see you in the next one.